Hey what's up guys, before I begin I wanted to give a big shout out to Messy Modding Store for sponsoring this video. So if you guys are looking for some Reddit online cash, gold bars or modded accounts on any platform, definitely go and check them out. They have all kinds of services in Reddit online and even other games. So their website will be down in the description below. Alright, let's begin today's video. Hey what's going on guys, so I'm back with a new awesome glitch as you'll find out in this video. So before we get further into the glitch, you'll want to change your MTU to either 600 or 800 so that we can get ourselves in a solo lobby. You can do this in a lobby with like less than 10 people but it won't be consistent. So I'd suggest get yourself into a solo lobby. On PS4 and PS5 you can easily do this by going to your network settings and then changing your MTU manually. So as you can see my MTU is set at 600. So if 600 doesn't work for you, depends on your internet. For some, 600 may not like work for you, so change it to change it to 800 if 600 doesn't work for you. Xbox and PC, you can do this from your router's IP address, or you can just use Netcut or something. <laughs> Still, no one has explained that to me in the comments. So, if someone knows that, let me know in the comments. Just get yourself into a solo lobby. That's the first important step. Alright, so after you've done that, you want to take your ass to Emerald Station. Doesn't have to be exactly at Emerald Station, you can be around Emerald Station. So, as you can see, I'm close to the pond in Emerald Station. So, once you're there, you'll want to set your camp up at tall trees. So, when you do that, you'll get your camp in a perfect spot. If you change your camp, like location from a different spot, you may not, you may not get your camp in a perfect spot. But if you do it from Emerald Station, you'll get it in a perfect spot. I was recording the whole like setting up the camp thing but I accidentally lost the footage so I apologize for that. So after you have like after you set your camp up you'll want to press start, go to online and then go back to your camp. Just select camp. Alright so let me show you what I was talking about. So as you can see my camp is right here in tall trees. So if I open up my map, there you go, that's the perfect spot. You can get your camp right here if you are here. So if you're at Emerald Ranch, you can set your camp up at all trees and your camp will spawn right here. So you want your camp to be at the T in trees in tall trees. <laughs> Still with me? Alright, good. Alright, so now on to the glitch itself. So if you guys didn't know, when you sedate a legendary animal, you cannot skin that particular legendary animal so when you're dealing with a legendary animal you can either sedate it or skin it or if you can carry the whole carcass you can do that but with this glitch we are going to be able to do both we are going to be able to sedate the legendary animal duplicate the legendary animal skin it get unlimited skins unlimited samples you can only carry 10 of like a particular legendary animal so once you have 10, you want to go to Harriet and sell the samples. So make sure to keep checking your satchel. Now on this particular run, I messed up. I forgot, I mean, I didn't forget what I was doing, but I was trying something else. So as you can see how easy it is to spawn this legendary animal. So this legendary animal is what we are dealing with. So not only are we going to duplicate this legendary snow buck, but also we are going to duplicate the sample from the snow buck. We're going to duplicate the skin and the samples. So usually you won't be able to do that from the same legendary animal. So you'll have to find it again, like wait for the cooldown to end and then find a legendary animal and take the sample and like you'll end up wasting hours and hours. So as you can see I accidentally killed the legendary animal. Again, not accidentally, but because I was trying like a you know something else but I'll show you in the next run exactly what this glitch is so again make sure like if you watch my previous videos you'll know what to do so once you've dealt with the legendary animal you only call in your hunting wagon so as soon as you as soon as you stow the skin or the carcass itself onto the hunting wagon you'll want to disconnect your internet that's what I'm going to do right now and see mine is full because I was testing it and it 
works 100%. It's really easy and it's 100% consistent. So you want to disconnect right here. You can disconnect however you like, but make sure to disconnect, not close app. Because if you close app, sometimes it's not consistent. So just disconnect your internet however you can. Alright, so now let's begin the real glitch. And if you're wondering where this legendary snow bug spawns, it, it's most of the time it'll spawn around the L in tall trees. So head towards that direction. And if it doesn't spawn there, just head towards the opposite direction. But 90% 90, 90 of the time it will always spawn there. Around the L in tall trees. So you can see I'm heading there now. And the radius is pretty wide. So even if you're like a bit far away from the L in tall trees, it will still show up on your minimap. Always keep an eye out on your minimap for a yellow question mark. If it shows up, there will always be like a yellow question mark. And also if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to keep up with all the latest working Red Dead Redemption 2 online glitches, money, gold and basically all, all kind of glitches. Also make sure to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on timed glitches. So there you go, there is a yellow question mark which means the buck has spawned in. And most of the time they'll always be fighting this like generic buck. So if it spawns here it'll always be like fighting this other buck. So it's 90% of the time it'll always be here. So it may not be at this exact spot but in and around this spot. So as you can see I'm trying to sedate the thing. So pull out your varmint rifle and make sure to use your sedative rounds. If you just want the skin or the carcass and don't want the sample then just kill it. But I'm showing you how you can sample and get the skin at the same time from this same legendary animal. Alright so after you have sedated it, you want to take the sample. Make sure not to kill it, first sample it and then kill it. As you can see there is a legendary snowbuck sample on my inventory. So now I will kill it. Didn't want to but it's a glitch. Three, four, five headshots. Damn. So as you can see right here there is no skin option because I have sedated it. That's how the game works. When you sample a legendary animal, you can't skin it. But there is a little trick. So you wanna stow the carcass on the back of your horse and then you'll want to ask your horse to flee. All right, get out of here. And wait for a like couple of seconds, wait like 10 seconds. As you can see on the top left, it says the animal has already been sampled and cannot be skinned. Oh yeah? Are you sure about that, Rockstar? <laughs> Alright, so next, just call in your horse whenever you can. Like after you flee your horse, you have to wait like 20 seconds to call back your horse. Just call your horse back. That's what I'm doing. Just like sometimes your horse may not spawn in because you're in a like rough area so just head towards the road and you should come back all right so now as you can see if i remove the snow buck and you will see this magic there you go skin option so i sedated the legendary animal and i can skin at the same time this is insane guys it's really op if you can combine 10 samples 10 skins and don't forget you'll be getting like buck antlers as well some additional money it's really like really cool glitch a okay, different kind of glitch so after you're skinned it make sure to call in your hunting wagon it's up to you guys if you want the whole carcass or if you want sample plus the skin i mean do not don't have to skin it you can just like I don't know what I was doing, you can just take the whole carcass and stow it in your hunting wagon. You can do that instead. You don't have to skin it because you know the carcass is more valuable. Alright, so let me show you another like quick little example here. The video is already getting long. 
I just wanted to explain everything. So <laughs> here we go again, like the box fighting the generic box. So sample it and then store it in your horse, call back your horse and you'll be able to skin the same legendary animal. So first step, sedate the buck. Or whatever you can do this with other legendary animals as well if you know the like spawn locations and stuff so you're gonna set it sample it kill the legendary animal store it in your horse ask your horse to flee call back your horse and then you'll be able to skin the skin the buck or you can like sell the whole carcass donate it to crypts do whatever you want Alright guys, that will be about it for this video. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye and peace out.